Welcome to the R video tutorial on exporting data from R. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University. But anybody can use it. All right, so here we're going to talk about exporting data from R. So in a previous video, we talked about importing it. Now, suppose we've done a whole bunch of work and we wish to export it. For this tutorial, we're just going to do a simple thing, which is read in a file and then write it out to something else. So I've got this set up uh, just correctly right here. So the header says export data from R, so I know what I'm doing. And then I'm going to read in some data that happens to be on my desktop. And this data exists in the repository, which will be in the link below. And then you can go and get it and try it this yourself. All right, so let's run this. Notice it reads in data one, 103 observations, two variables, which is what it should do. All right, so to export this, suppose we want to export it in a different format. So I'm going to use, there's different versions, so I'm going to do first write.csv. Okay, first thing you're going to do is put in the data set you want to export. And then you're going to put in what the directory is that you want to send this to. So I'm going to send this to the desktop revenue, and I'm just going to call this test dot CSV, and this will export it as a CSV for me. So if I run this, it will put this revenue test on my desktop, and I'm on a Mac, so if I bring this up, you will see on my desktop, both of these are showing my desktop, I have revenue test right there. All right, so we can keep moving here. This allows us to do a CSV, but I can also do other ones as well. So I can write dot table data one, and I can put on the desktop. I'm gonna call this revenue test dot txt and then here I'm going to add scp equals quote and then backslash t for tab and that we learned that in a previous video and that works again here as well. I'm also going to put in here call dot names equals uh, oh not call dot names row dot names equals false. And this will create another file for me that is in the TXT format. Row names is, uh, the row number will be presented in the data set as another column. So if you read it in, uh, it won't work so nicely if you're trying to do this a whole bunch. So if I do that, it will export that. Now, these are two simple versions of this. But there's a package that's really, really nice uh, that exists for R that's called RIO, RIO, or R's Input Output. So here you can install this with install.packages uh, and then put in quotes RIO. And then after you've done that, run install formats. Now there's several ways to install packages. Last time we talked about using uh, the code version or you could use the install over here. Either one works. So I'm going to run these just to show you what it does. I've already installed it. And notice it will take it a moment to go through all of its installation. And you see a whole bunch of stuff show up. And then the second line you're going to run is install formats. And it probably won't install the formats for me because I've already installed them. And then I'm going to run Rio. And uh, here I can use Rio to import data. So I'm going to read it in the same data set into data two and notice that I don't have to put in CSV or anything. And you can actually read in all kinds of data sets without actually having to specify what they look like. So that's good for reading in and you can look up the documentation for Rio. But the other thing you can do here that's really neat is you can export. You put in the data set that you're looking for. I'm going to do data one. And then you just put in the format that you're trying to do in the description. So let's say I want to do revenue test. And then I'm going to put in here X L S X. And this will actually export to an Excel file for me. You can also use import with XLS 
X, and it will read in an Excel file. So if I do this and run this, I can go and look at my desktop and see that I have a revenue test.xlsx file that I can actually use in directly into Excel. And that's a question lots of people have is how do I get things in and out? Well, this Rio package, while there's many input output packages, seems to work really well. So this will allow you to both read them in and also export them. So all you have to do is put the import statement and the directory on where it is. Make sure you have the extension of what type file it is and it will work correctly. So I also have another data set out there that we can try. I'll call it data three. And this one was on the desktop. And this was... Uh, data test.xlsx, and this will read in this data. And it happens to be the revenue data again. I just r set it up ahead of time. And sure enough, it reads in a file directly from XLS. And notice it, it made something about the time zone, but don't worry about that. It actually does read in the data just fine. So it's just a warning message. It's not an actual error. All right, so this has been exporting data from R. You can move on to the next video.